it's Chippy B here and I am a digital and traditional illustrator on Instagram and YouTube. So today I'll be testing out a bunch of different Art of Fly art supplies for you guys and showing you how to use them. So today's video will focus a lot around the fine line drawing pens which comes in a variety of different sizes. I'll also be accompanying this drawing with the alcohol markers which we'll also use on the alcohol marker paper. So first of all, um, for my drawings, I really like drawing really cute little characters and girls. So that's what I'll be showing you guys today. So what I like to do first whenever I receive a new art supply is test out the features and techniques on a scrap paper. So right now you can see that I'm just jotting down the different sizes of the fine liner and seeing which pens I should use. So for the main line art, I like to start off with a 0.2 pen or a 0.1 pen depending on your preferences. So here I'm just diving into the line art. So whenever I do my line art, I like to keep it very loose, very simple and very free. So right now I like starting off with the head. So the forehead is a good place to start off because it's at the top of the head and it's also a place that's very free. So the reason why I like starting the line up with the hair is because the hair can be very free, very whimsical, very messy. So it's a good way to start loosening up and getting used to the line art before you need to start off doing something very um, technical and very, very precise. Also make sure whenever you're doing line art, don't be afraid to tilt the paper, turn it around, turn it upside down if you have to because the last thing you want is to have a sore aching arm and really that's not good for you or the artwork. So I often get asked how do I get very neat and clean line art. For me personally, I try not to make it way too neat. Um, what I like to do is I just jot in the very basic lines first and then I like to add the details a little after I finish coloring in and so on. So I'll show you guys how to do that at the end of the video where I finish coloring in. But for now, in the beginning, all you need to do is just color in and line art the most basic shapes first. So right now I am just lining in the legs and the little accessories. Another question that I often get asked is how do I do large lines? So as you can see with what I did with the leg is a technique. So what I do is instead of line arting with your wrist, so a lot of people they tend to line art um, holding their pen on their wrist and they would twist their wrist around when they turn but instead you should use your whole arm as an anchor that way your wrist won't get twisted or you won't get carpal tunnel and also your line art will be much more straight and flowy Okay, now moving on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I like to use the largest and thickest fine liner. So for this packet, it will be the 0.8 fine liner. Okay, next I'll be moving on to the 0.2 pen or the 0.1 and just lining in the rest of the eyes. So here I'm just coloring it in and shading it in to add more depth and dimension. Okay, now moving on to alcohol markers. I'll just run through this a little quickly, but basically what I do is I like to go by layers. So I'll move in with the base layer and then I'll move in with the second shading and so on. As for hair, I like to do a little technique. So when it comes to alcohol markers, it's very different to digital painting. 
and it's more similar to a lot of other traditional paintings like watercolor. So what I like to do is instead of relying on using white paint or whatever to do the highlights, I like to leave out negative space. So as you can see in the hair, there's spaces which I didn't color in. So that would act as the highlights for the hair. Okay, so after we finish coloring in, here's a little tip at the end. So what I like to do is, because I sometimes use alcohol markers and sometimes they kind of bleed out from the line art, what I like to do is I would go back again after I finish coloring and I will do a final line art run. So here I'll use the 0.05 line art and I'll do a little sketch or a little line art around the colors and then that will pretty much finish off the drawing okay so we've reached the end of the video so thank you guys so much for joining me and watching this tutorial I hope you guys like a few new little tricks and tips also if you guys have any future suggestions or videos and tutorials do comment down below so I know what to do in the future and I'll see you guys next time Bye!